Welcome back. This is Why in the Morning. My name is Ram Maguko. It is a pleasure being with you today on this particular Tuesday. It is Entrepreneurship Tuesday and uh, today we want to talk about matters concerning business and you and of course youth empowerment. Financial literacy is what we shall be handling today in this particular conversation which, as we talk about the Halt Prize which uh, you know we shall be highlighting today and uh, you know what are exactly are our student leaders doing uh, aqua ground palace they say we're ground between different, but so we have student leaders in studio today to help us in this particular conversation. I was talk about the Halt Prize on Campus uh, a program that is the Halt Prize on Campus program uh, that uh, exists uh, in different universities. So to help us in this conversation and also to find out what the Halt Prize is all about, I am with uh, uh, to my extreme right, Abna Maina. He is the uh, uh, Halt Prize Campus Director at uh, Muranga University. Karu Sanabda. Uh, thank you so much. Kusalama. Kusalama, sir. Asante sana. All right. And of course, next to me is uh, Jail Chieng. She is uh, the Halt Prize Campus Director now from uh, Cooperative University of Kenya. Karu Sana uh, uh, Jail. Thank you. Kusawa. Kusalama. Kusalama sana. Feeling good? Feeling good. The hashtag as always is why in the morning at Rama Google is where you can be able to find us at Y254 channel is the official station handle. Of course, my colleague's handle is at Michelle Ashira. Engage with us. Let us know where you're watching us from and we shall sample your feedback a bit later on during this particular conversation right here on Y in the morning. Remember, we are coming to you live from the broadcasting house here in Nairobi, Kenya. Also streaming live through our website. That's a w www.kbc.co.ke forward slash y254 and of course keep watching and following this particular conversation on the go from wherever you may be now let me start with you abna yes what's hal price all about and uh, what exactly are you doing at muranga university uh fine thank you so much for having me in the so hal price mm -hmm. uh, this is a global foundation mm -hmm. it engages students across the globe uh, in matters entrepreneurship and in matters to do with business startups. So essentially, mm. they give students an opportunity to come up with business ideas and mm. business startups that can be scaled to solve pressing social issues. So your business must be profitable mm -hmm. and also solving a social challenge that is affecting masses of people. So at Mbranga University, what I do, mm. as a campus director, it is my, my role to inspire my fellow students, to make them understand what this program is about. Because to Murang University, we are having this for the first time. Mm -hmm. To make them understand the program mm -hmm. and inspire them, to make them uh, think like problem solvers and business startup CEOs in this space. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah. So, so how long has it been at uh, Muranga so far? Because you've said it's the first time at yes. Muranga University. Yeah. yeah. So I'm the first campus director at Muranga University. So uh -huh. essentially that means uh, selections were done uh, late last year. Uh -huh. That uh -huh. was around uh, July. All right. So it's, it has existed at Muranga University throughout that period mm -hmm, mm -hmm. until now. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Jan, um, what is it for you? And uh, uh, is, 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 is it the same for, for, um, for, for, for your university at, at a cooperative? Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. So on side it's a, a weird story or an awkward story because mm. Halt Prize was initially introduced last year mm -hmm. but the campus director stepped down okay. and then it died and everything went underground mm. and then I was chosen again as the campus director mm. one month uh, later like mm. that that's February so I've not been really um, on the program for mm -hmm. long mm -hmm. I'm, I'm new it's like one month and I have to make sure I inspire students so Halt Prize mm -hmm. is a, a competition, uh, a global competition, annually organized by the Halt uh, School. Mm -hmm. And basically, it being involved in Cooperative University is a really good thing for the students. Mm -hmm. It's um, a platform. Since Cooperative is a business school, mm -hmm. it allows the students to be innovators to make sure that their business ideas are seen and heard mm -hmm. and they are able to sell their ideas to the investors and experts outside. Mm -hmm. So me as a campus director, all I have to do is assure these people that as much as you're not going to win the $1 million, you'll be meeting people. That's the greatest part of being a business person. 
mm-hmm. meeting people, networking. Mm-hmm. You might not get that money, but you will have sold your idea to someone mm-hmm. who will be really open to investing in your idea. Mm-hmm. So I am just encouraging them, focus less on the money and think about what you will get after the program. You know, you know w- w- what I love with what you, both, the both of you have, have said is that this is a new thing. Yeah. But we are already on TV talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, I love that you are going out there, spreading your net in the deep, hoping to catch something in the deep waters. You know, I love the fact that at the end of the day, still new, February, one month down the line, we, you, you know, you're, you, you're talking about it on national television. You know, uh, uh, so it inspires a lot to see uh, a conversation that is still, uh, you know, new spreading at a very fast speed. Don't you think so? Yeah, it's really special. Yeah. Given that, um, uh, I would like to relate as a student. You tell someone, yeah. please join this organization. We will give you one million. This person like, me, I'm cool. Me, I'm fine. But if you tell them, please join us to make sure we make this club grow, they will be on board. Mm-hmm. So I, I guess um, the reason why we are telling the story is because we are encouraging, this p- uh, encouraging people to focus less on whatever is said about health praise and think about what they will learn from it. So, so, so is it like a competition uh, that uh, and a competition of entrepreneurs? Um, um, yes, yes, mostly yes. I relate it to Lions Den. If someone asks me, I'll be like, uh-huh. have you ever watched Lions Den? Then you, you it's really easy it's to really understand okay, health okay, praise. Okay, okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh, actually more like the same thing she had just mentioned. Uh-huh. Uh, my fellow students, I usually encourage them a lot to, to check on the KCB lands then to check out how people stand out there to, you know, present their ideas to the globe. Mm-hmm. But to answer your question, yes, it is a competition. So it starts at the university level. So at the university, we have events coming up where students will come with their ideas and compete amongst themselves. Mm-hmm. So we look, we look at this as a crowdsource opportunity mm-hmm. to different schools to bring together students and uh, make them believe that they can be job creators and uh, not only solve unemployment to the masses, but also create employment for themselves. Mm-hmm. Create that self-belief that we are not in the system to at some point graduate and enter the job market trying to be part of the problem. We can be part of the solution. Mm-hmm. So once they compete at the university level, we are going to have the best teams at the university level, which proceed now to the regionals. Mm-hmm. Now they represent these universities. As they, pro- as they proceed and meet other students. And that's where the element of networking, as she mentioned, comes in. Okay, you get okay. to meet new people in the same space, reasoning at the same level, and exchange of ideas becomes easier. You, you, you never know, you could also be landing on your next business partner. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, so, so we have different universities, yes. all having uh, 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 HALT prizes, uh, representatives. Yes. Right. Yeah. But, but, but then how do you group them um, in, in one particular university? Now, how do you segment or segregate one person from another, or do they run as individuals? So, uh, at the university, for instance, at Muranga University, mm. that's a Muranga University edition, mm. which is called On Campus. Mm. And On Campus exists at all universities which have representatives to the Halt Prize. Mm. So, from Muranga University, that's where we proceed to the regionals, now brings together the other universities which now compete again among themselves to have the best idea proceed to the next level. And so if, if, if it is Murang University, so yes. to cut okay. it short, but right. if it is Murang University, mm. um, I, I, I want to give an example. We have one campus uh, in, in, in one place and yes. we have another campus. Are they meeting together or are the programs separate? Are there groupings? Oh, uh, there are no groupings. I think as, as, as a campus director, if I'm at a university which has the different satellite uh, universities and yes. campuses, yes. we organize, it's now, it now goes down to how we are able to organize ourselves. From each campus, mm. we can have uh, you know, competitions at that level, and they maybe have the best three from that satellite uh, you know, uh, campus, and then they'll come to the main campus and compete. Mm. So it, it, it's, it's one unit at the end of the day. Okay, yeah. okay. All right. yeah. Huh? So, uh, the on-campus affair, like, okay, as for us, we have only two, ca- two campuses, uh-huh. so it's easier. And the rule of participation is you have to be a student 
mm. of a registered student. Mm -hmm. So every student who is a cooperative student is allowed to be part of the participation. Mm -hmm. Not uh, an alumni, not a staff. Obviously, like, compulsory, they must be you students. must be a student. Yeah. So, so not, it's a cooperative a affair. Student, nini. Yeah. Uh -uh. It's a cooperative affair. Mm -hmm. So after the comp the after us having the best winner, we will uh, we will take them to the regionals as a cooperative team, not as a team. We'll take them as this is our team. This is this is the best team that we chose, and we would like them to represent us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so okay. The, okay. The whole affair is making sure mm -hmm. your university stands out. Mm -hmm. That's why the on campus is really crucial for us campus directors. We need to bring on board the best team. If the, the best team wins from our side, we also win. So it's us to make sure we work hard and choose the best team mm -hmm. by choosing the best judges, the most experienced judges. Now, now looking at, at, at the reception, um, I don't know if, you st if you've got the numbers with you, but uh, how many are we looking at in terms of participation? How is the reception on the, uh, on the ground from the university students? You know, what are they saying? And uh, you know, how do you expect to work with what you've got, you know, moving on to the near future with the vision that you've got as the campus directors? All right. Uh, so at Muranga University, uh, I think these are problems that is cutting across the universities yeah. because uh, we had a meeting uh, with other campus directors and I got to relate a lot. Mm. So uh, especially when you are introducing a new idea. People don't receive it well. They don't really. <laughs> 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 they People look, don't like new things. They look at you and they're like, uh, this is some fantasy you're trying to sell out. And sometimes they don't understand that we are doing this voluntary. So they see the kind of energy you're putting in, mm. and then they feel like uh, this person is up to something, and you know how Kenya is. <laughs> <laughs> we so, love that Amelipua. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Maybe he wants to get our ideas and go sell them. Mm. So it's, it's been a uh, hurdle, but uh, I think I thought of a, uh, an easier way that was going to make me hit the numbers. Mm -hmm. So we organized with uh, my committee members. We decided to have um, activation days three serious activation ah. days. So we had a tent, we had the sound system, mm -hmm. and then we have, uh, you know, my fellow committee members qua ground, mm -hmm. making sure that every student that passes gets this information, mm -hmm. and interested students can register. So at that time, we were able to register 67 interested persons, mm -hmm. whom mm -hmm. we consider as team captains, because for you to register an idea again, you need to be a team. Advice encourages teamwork. Because mm -hmm. when you talk about business, you can be having a business that is software based, but you are not a developer. So you need to get someone that is really good in that area. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and that's what, it, what, what I was trying to get even initially. Right. How will you divide people? Okay. So they are going to be in teams. Yeah, they have to be in teams. And each team will have a team leader. Yes. Okay. Who is now a team captain, right? Ah, ah, so, um, but essentially the corporate, I tend to tell my fellow students, see yourself as a CEO when you look at your mirror. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and that is your company. Exactly. You know, that you're working with. Yeah. And your team members are like your corporate leaders, this, the CFO, I don't know what, 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 what. Exactly. Motivate yeah. your members from a perspective that this is a future company I'm really laying down foundation on. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that approach really helped us. We were able to register good numbers. And uh, at the moment, I think a lot has happened since. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm talking about... Uh, 15 teams that are remaining where we'll be having our semi-finals on Wednesday mm -hmm. and then we'll have the best uh, eight now proceeding to the finals on our, our event that is on Friday. I think that's a good number. Yeah, sure. That's, 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 that's a good number. For first time, uh. big number. That's a, uh, how is that at uh, Cooperative? Uh, at Cooperative, it's kind of tough. It, it is tough because I had one month, so I sent a, a, a message to all students mm. through the president's <coughs> account mm. and everyone was able to receive the message but it depends on how someone receives the message mm -hmm. and so far we have 10 teams mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, not so good but at least it's the 10 teams that they are ready you know you can't go with a, a large number and maybe s some are not even sure uh, so I settled for 10 people for mm -hmm. the 10 teams mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, given that you started like one month, one month ago. <laughs> <laughs> what are you you're, you're saying? Idea, ah, not good enough. No good enough. Ah, oh, and you started one month I'm, ago. I'm working on. So uh, I'm working on the next event since it's our first and ah. it's one month old. 
Okay. We still have another session in September. I am sure it will be better than this session. So I we sent every the message to everyone. Uh -huh. We had posters around. We tell people about Halt Prize. So we, we, sit, we sit on the streets. Mm. And you usually, I, I am this kind of trending kind of person. Mm -hmm. So I am Miss Universe at Cooperative. Well, so oh, you know when I'm at the streets. My coffee party. So I'm at the streets. And I was like, Miss Universe, what are you doing? And I'm like, I'm, I'm the campus director, Halt Prize. So please, if you want to support Miss Universe, mm -hmm. just join us. Yeah. So everyone is like psyched up. Me, I am coming. You know, mm -hmm. they, they feel like I should. I am just this um, Miss Universe. So I created that profile and it helped kind of to get people on board. Because if someone knows Miss Universe, they'll be like, she's doing this. So let's just see what she's doing and the great work she's doing. So I guess my profile helped kind of and my committee members, they've been so much, they've been trying so hard to get people on board and talk to them. And um, it's really mm, much like, it's so much uh, easier when we work as a team. So they're, they're doing a great job. Yeah. Um, it's never easy because sometimes you can have all the posters around and nobody reaches out literally. Sometimes people don't even talk about it. They just see it. Yeah. You're like, and they, they cool. know. Well, <laughs> yeah. I'm at school to learn, so you're telling me how this uh, I've seen posters before, so this doesn't really relate uh -huh. to the things I'm looking at. But uh -huh. when you have a good uh, team in form of an executive or organizing committee, mm. They give you good support uh, system and energy. Like there is someone I got in into my executive team yeah. who came at a time when we were really, you know, overwhelmed. You know, time was going, we were not hitting the numbers, and then someone comes in and tells you guys, you know what, we are going to get students participating in this, and then he helps us do mm. that. So mm -hmm. you really need a good it's team in every walks of life in, in the things that you do. That's my belief. Mm. Yes. And, uh, and, and once you've, uh, because from what you're saying, there's an event that is ongoing yeah as we speak so um for the teams to really get to know each other it's so weird you're going to compete with someone and you've never seen them there's that tension so we're trying to ease the tension by uh, um, making sure there are trainings and mm. workshops where mm. they meet through zoom and physical because at least they'll have that interaction and they'll talk and communicate be like if we reach there if i don't get this or I have this idea, at least they have that interaction so that when they'll be in front of the judges, they're not strangers. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. we are trying to have a workshop where they'll be meeting experts, mm -hmm. uh, people who can tell them what to do, the do's and the don'ts. Yeah, because, because I, I was actually wondering, uh, this is a competition. I'm going to partner with somebody that I've just met. We don't know each other. Yeah. I don't know where they have come from. That we turn to a V and want to compete for, 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 for uh, you know a prize yes. that we both want. Yeah. Yet both of us at some point agreed we lack some financial discipline in a particular way, mm. or we lack some entrepreneurial skills. One or two, three things that might affect us during the competition. Yes. And might affect even our presentation. Yes. Even though you have a good idea, so then how? How, how do you uh, uh, you know ensure that these guys give or come with their a game and avoid making amateur mistakes? You know, so uh, you know that that is what I, I want us to answer in a bit. All right, so let's take a short break. We'll be back in a bit. This is the half prize. That's right, that's right, that's right. Welcome back. This is Why in the Morning. And today on Entrepreneurship Tuesday is all about understanding what the Hull Prize is all about. Uh, the hashtag is Why in the Morning at Ram Aguko at Y254 channel is where you can be able to engage with us. Keep talking to us. Let us know where you're watching us from, okay? And it's all about empowering students in terms of entrepreneurship. How best can we ensure that we take our people to the next level? Empowering them, giving them financial literacy, you know, ensuring that they know how to get things going. And today, I have uh, the best panel ever to talk about this particular conversation. So before we went on that break, uh, Jael, let me come to you. I was, I was asking about training these guys so that they don't make mistakes when they're there. They have just met new faces. These are new individuals. Uh, you know, how can they pitch in the right idea? How can they be able to even, as they, as they pitch in that idea? Because the, um, 
if I look at how the composition will be, they look at whether the, these businesses can make profit. They look at fina the, the, the financial implications. So how do you do, go through that? So um, as a campus director and my mm. team, we, we are the providers. I will say it that way. Yeah. That's our work. So basically, we are providing our participants with the best experts. They might not be the best uh, because we are the ones poaching them. But in our view, I think that it really helped the teams to understand if you're getting into business, maybe you're, you're, you're sure you have that idea, but there is something you're not doing right. Mm -hmm. so this person yeah. will tell you, as much as you have the idea, you need to change on this mm -hmm. before the judge sees it. You need to do this. You need to prepare. So we, the, the experts will basically be giving them a manual, a secret to being the best mm -hmm. uh, entrepreneur. And also these experts are investors. From listening to them, they will connect them. Uh, I, I get your idea, I listen to it and I'll be like, I had someone who does this, so you can contact him or her. So I think our experts will just help the team. It's um, a way of connecting them to people because these experts know people. Mm. So we are, we are getting them people who know people <laughs> in, in a way. Yeah, that's yeah, our I secret. I get you. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Uh, l l your thoughts, how do you do it where you are? Yeah, uh, more like the same, but looking at Murang University, mm. uh, the slogan is innovation for prosperity. So there is In uh, innovation for prosperity. Yes. Okay. So there is uh, already an existing infrastructure that we are trying to make use of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so apparently we are working with the Office of Innovation and Research at the university. So um, they've really helped us in terms of looking at the projects that we have and also offering oversight and mentorship to these teams so that by the time we get to the final day, these, peop uh, these students are prepared to pitch. From mm. our end, uh, we first have to make sure that all these registered teams, we had a common meeting. And then it was a challenge of can each of you at least tell us what your idea is about? And then amongst themselves, they were able to critique on, you know, you need to improve on this, you need to do better in this area. And then talking of experts, we've also tried to get in touch with people in the industry who, yes, are busy, but more than really willing to be uh, involved mm -hmm. in these yeah, uh, you yeah. know, and, uh, activities. Mm -hmm. Come and talk to us and motivate them and offer them all the other skills that they need to get ready for the main day. What happens to the best? You have a competition ongoing right now. You said yours is on Wednesday. Is it, is it the same as? No, uh, so we chose a different, chose a different day. way. Mm -hmm. so, uh, ours is on Wednesday, next when, week. Next week. Yeah. And yours? Uh, this Friday. This Friday. Yes. Okay, so what happens to the best? So, uh, after on campus, we have the regional summit, mm -hmm. the regional competition. So our best team gets to represent the university at the regionals level, where they'll be meeting other university mm, teams, mm -hmm. and those who will have registered after the on-campus program. So uh, the good thing about HALT Prize, if you miss out on the on-campus, you can still make your team, form your team uh, all around. Actually, the, good, uh, the positive side of regionals is you can be from cooperative and have your team members from other universities. So as much as um, the on-campus is almost over, our regionals will be open mm -hmm. to every student. Mm -hmm. And uh, so our best team will mm. go to the regionals and um, the others will also urge, urge them to register online. Mm -hmm. So it's still a continuous process. Our okay. teams that will be left behind, we tell them this is not the end. You can still join the regional summit where we won't be really taking control of you mm -hmm. or helping out so much because the health prize organization will handle you. But we will be there to give you support and tell you what to do but, 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 but even though so they can also participate participate through also uh, being part of the event yeah. they can also follow up and also learn from others yeah, yeah. Hmm? all right so, so it's not the end it's not the end yeah so um i believe the same case is for you for the winners uh for the winners at the university level uh i think starting we were quite ambitious we really had a big budget <laughs> <laughs> you had uh, a big budget yeah because okay we wanted to make it's something really mega, you know, mm -hmm. create an impact even at the university level. Yeah. So that next time, as I said, this is the first time we're introducing next time students hear about this initiative. By then, now being a, a final year, I, I, I guess I'll be out. So whoever that comes in, I wanted to make it really easy for him. Mm. Uh, 
but it's hard out here getting reality. workers. <laughs> 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 it's hard. Reality. Uh, it's, it's, it's been uh, a bit tricky. I can imagine for her. <laughs> yeah, you can imagine. For One me. month down the line. And I've been doing this since the last year, but uh, things have not been. So even as we approach Friday, uh, uh -huh. unfortunately, we don't have an active sponsor. Uh, so apparently, my plan is uh, to use the resources that are available mm -hmm. at my disposal. But, but you still want a, a, a sponsor? You're still looking for one? Yes, yes. All right. If I get someone to come on board, I, I really appreciate it because right now it's, it's just me trying to see how best I can even award the best teams at that level. Mm -hmm. So uh, so we are, we are planning to award the best teams at the university level. Yeah. So that when you talk about the best team, the rest not really feel like left out, even as there is a second round of application for the regionals. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, Yes, we get them inspired and ready so that if we are able to award them maybe monetary or some other things and tools they can use to exploit, then it means why to the regionals they'd be more prepared and more inspired to move on. Mm -hmm. But we hope for the best. Mm -hmm. yes. But now, now that is at the regional level. Yes. Is there another level after that? Once yes. you've all met at the regional level, what, what, what is the next phase? Because now the regional level, I believe, is now countrywide. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there is an accelerator. Okay. Uh, where the best, I guess, it's the best team countrywide. Uh, it's continental, actually. Actually, yeah. in Africa, we have uh, three cities hosting this. Ah. Uh -huh. Nairobi, Abuja, and uh -huh. Johannesburg. Uh -huh. so talking of Nairobi, you can think of the whole of East Africa and mm -hmm. Central coming together, and then you know, moving forward. Yeah, yeah. but, so but it, 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 it ends up at the United States. So now it yeah. ends up the New York City for the accelerator, now what we call the famous. Uh -huh. Aha. Yeah. Now, I'm aware Bill Clinton is the presenting the gift yes. to the winner. Uh, and actually, uh, he's the same person who gives the team each year. Uh -huh. So Bill Clinton Foundation works in close partnership with Hard Price Foundation. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're always present during the, the event, the grace, and also offer the award. Mm -hmm. So he's the one, he's the one that, that gives a theme for every yes. year. Yes. Yes. Now, this, this year's theme is uh, getting the world back to work. Yes. Uh, uh, maybe you can talk about a, a, little, a little bit about that, getting the world back to work. And uh, for calling upon students to come up with the, the business ideas uh, with this particular theme. Uh, your thoughts on that? Well, I think uh, it's because of the COVID. Yeah. It affected most jobs. Most people went home. Uh, guys lost jobs. People had to close their businesses. So when, he's, uh, when he proposed getting the world back to work is, if a student comes up with a job, mm -hmm. it's creative. It means the unemployed gets a place to call the earning place, you know? You have somewhere to feed your family. So I think uh, the theme is really um, in line with the situation we are in currently. Most people are unemployed. Most students uh, after university, what next? That's the, usually the biggest question. So with the jobs, we have a place. It might not be by 2024 you have uh, employed 2,000 people directly, but there is indirect employment. Mm -hmm. So that's the focus. Maybe. Um, I think it, it is going to, uh, the theme is really going to help solve the situation, the seven SDGs that we are currently facing. And we are hoping that our teams we will, will be at the front, forefront to make sure we get back to the work. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, uh, you, you, your thoughts on, on the theme? Yes, uh, the theme is something I'm really passionate about. Uh, Personally, when I look at the corporate at some point, I prefer getting into partnerships with uh, people in the corporate industry that, than maybe getting employed. So I think if I had an opportunity to participate at the on-campus level, I'd be one of the first people to be more interested in the same. Mm -hmm. So the theme is on cre creating employment opportunities. We are inspiring students to come up with business ideas, which if they are scared, they can create up to 2,000 uh, entry jobs by 2024. Mm -hmm. So we are just encouraging uh, students, ourselves, to be job creators. <coughs> and as I said earlier, so that we are a part of the solution, not part of the problem, because each year we graduate and join masters who are already unemployed looking at the economic situation in Kenya. Now, um, I, I'm, I'm wondering, because you mentioned that, the that there are particular students who are supposed to be participating in this event. 
Yes. If somebody has a project, what's the process of uh, getting in? Uh, they have an idea or a project. What's the process? And uh, 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 what if somebody is not at cooperative university? What if somebody is not at Muranga University? Um, <laughs> uh, do we have such kind of uh, a space, or is it you know uh, 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 strictly for students? Maybe you can you can highlight that particular area a bit. So. Um when the students so on campus is basically students mm -hmm. yes. so when a student is interested has a project they log in into the health prize kenya website where they'll get a portal to register when you uh, click register you are directed to your university you will just see the list of universities and every student knows the university so yes. everyone is like uh, i'm from cooperative you will get the website for cooperative mm -hmm. there is a form to fill mm -hmm. so uh, the students are Everything is provided. Wow. But for a non-student, the regional summit is open. The portal is already open, so they can uh, register as from now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, all so right. there is a website uh, to register, mm -hmm. uh, whether on campus, whether off campus. Mm -hmm. I will say it that way. All right. Yeah. Uh, before I, c I come to you, let me, g let me get it uh, uh, first. Some of the challenges you get, you've been facing so far. Uh, one is um, convincing people. It's hard telling someone you will just to wake up, present your idea and win one million dollars. <laughs> it's tough. And uh, also, we, just as he said, we wanted to make it something really special. Uh, I, I wouldn't really expect someone to uh, pitch the idea and then after they are done, I tell them you've won and then we move on. I would really wish to give them something an award but for that for that to be possible we will need potential sponsors companies that will come on board and say if this team wins i chip in this way or i give this but we're still missing and we're still hoping hopefully by tuesday we'll have found some one or two people we've reached out sent a couple of letters and we're still waiting yeah. stuff if it doesn't go through i guess we'll just have to use what we have because we can't also just make things uh, happen if we have no way so we'll just use what we have and convince our teams that the w next time we will get much better okay. well planned i guess that's our plan and right. the, the biggest challenge is you have your teams you have the program after that what next? what next you know what next because you will have chosen your team you've submitted their names but maybe the other guys they expected more or the student expected more they expected uh, a grand halt prize event and as a campus director you have nothing you just have you and your ideas and some maybe convincing power so it's, we really need support from uh, all round from so i will i i um i noticed most of my guys love media attention so if uh, <laughs> if i'm <laughs> to get the, yeah, the, the limelight yeah they the because some people feel like if i'm supposed to go in front of the media and tell my idea or someone sees it be like i, I will get people mm. so most guys are like kutakuwa na nini kutakuwa na tv and you're like um i can try or i can use my camera <laughs> so we, we try to make it so not stressful we tell the guys we will we got you covered mm -hmm. if you don't know how to do this so most yeah. people don't even know how to register you tell them i will do it for you mm -hmm. that's my work just tell me your details i log in do everything for you using my data i post your pictures i like it's uh, it's as if our entire team is doing the, everything for these guys that's like our work we are the the servants, you know, okay. to be a master, you need to be a servant. Uh, for you, challenges you've been facing so far, um, and uh, 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 how have you managed to go through all those hurdles? Uh, challenges, I, I'll call it many, but I think I've been in the space of dealing with people for a while as a student leader, so uh, most of the challenges don't really surprise me, or in a way, I find a way to deal with them. But I think most of the challenges that are now uh, most of my team members are facing essentially is learning how to work as a team. Mm -hmm. So uh, essentially that means that they have a big problem trying to relate some team members drop out at some point mm -hmm. and it gets chaotic. So 
they registered as four members, now they are a bit around two. Now the other challenge is on what she has mentioned, getting corporates on board, mm -hmm. and uh, who can also help us in, in form of sponsorship, uh, gift numbers and all that. It's been a big challenge, and uh, fingers crossed still uh, <laughs> looking forward that after this interview, of course, this opportunity, maybe someone can, can chip in. Yeah, help fast. Someone watching, please. <laughs> Even with just a gift <laughs> hamper. <laughs> or, or, or some gift hamper or something. Yeah. Yes, uh, uh, at least something to give these guys and appreciate them for their and, and And if they do want to reach out to you with a response, how can they do so? Uh, through my phone number. Okay. Here. Yeah. And, and you? you? You'll give it, uh, and you? I will go for phone number. All right. Yes. So both for the both of you, you'd, you'd like to give your contacts? Yeah. Okay. So, go ahead. Fine. So, my phone number is uh, 0798791060. Yeah. Mm. Come again. 0798791060. Mm -hmm. And, uh, Jaya? Uh, mine is 011 25 38 643. Again? Uh, 011 25 uh, 38 643. Na mujue kuna team mafisi. Salaud. Wacha ijulikane. For this period. Yeah. It's allowed. It's allowed. Um, They'll be pitching up the idea. So. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Sell your, your idea. Sell your My, agenda. Yeah. It's election period. They might win the grand prize <laughs> of a million dollars. Yeah. yeah. Uh, as we bring this conversation to a close, I want us to wrap it up. Uh, and I would like to give each one of you a final word. Maybe there's something you'd like to say to the, uh, to the students that are watching you at home. Uh, uh, our take home for the day, uh, you know, what will be your final word? Let me start with uh, you, Jaya. Uh, on a final word, I would just like to say, mm -hmm. as my most of my friends say, if you know someone, you'll always get things done because knowing someone gets you a, a step ahead and uh, being part of this competition will allow you to know people indirectly and if you miss out as a participant you can still be a community member you interact di indirectly and directly with the people you will know what to do if you're given an event to plan or organize so health praise is bo either ways you can be a participant or an event planner all right Either way, you're still benefiting, you're still mm -hmm. growing, you're still nurturing yourself. Because as a campus director, I had to be the boss and the servant both ways. You tell people to do this, but you also have to do it. So you're going both ways to make sure things are done. And you have to get your teams to understand that you're, you're doing your best to cover them and give them what they need, the resources they need. So I think um, any student that is watching, I will add them to join Health Praise and uh, participate and feel free to give feedback. Feedback is really important for growth and it's, it will help us as the campus directors or the others who will join to know what is to be done and what should be improved and what should be done better. Yeah, I, I really think the students should be open to give us feedback. That's mm -hmm. all I would really like to say. Feedback is crucial. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, me, come back home. Feedback is crucial. <laughs> on the feedback. feedback and yeah. communication is very crucial <laughs> for <laughs> any deal to happen and go through well. All right. Yeah. Uh, let me finish with you. Uh -huh. Your camera is still. All Talk right, to your thank people. You. So I, I think I'd start by uh, appreciating the support I've received uh, from my Focus Big Startup and also from my family and uh, the friends I have in my committee and everyone that has really helped me to, to be here today. Uh, on my final word now is to say that um, as a student or as anyone in life, be always curious, always uh, try to find out what's happening because opportunities can find you if you try to settle down and just be average. Uh, let's see how best we can make our communities better by being part of the solutions that we can provide and not part of the problems that we are already facing. Thank you so much. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much. You, you guys are doing a great job. Thank, Thank you. you. It's, a, it's a great job. Very, very inspiring. Ningekwa na biashara. Ningekwa kampo. Ningetuma. But then... You can be a mentor. Mentor, You can yes. be... <laughs> you can head a team that already has an idea. 
Yes. Ah. It's still mm. there. It was. Sirazo mi 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 pia niko na the vision. Yeah, you, know, you have to. Sometimes you find your vision as you interact with people. Oh, so maybe you will. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 you know, it's not an to you. <laughs> but, but, but still there is the issue of conmanship. Quite a lot. I think that's, that's one of the challenges we should have highlighted. Uh. Yeah. It's, uh, I think it's the brain work. Someone is like, uh, and most of the guys I noticed, they related to Science Congress high school <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> where you present your idea and then you proceed to the next level you you realize your idea was sold out to someone yeah. so that to other, another team and you're like no i'm not ready to open up again i yeah. had <laughs> en enough character development in high school so i think it's just um the the mental it's just uh, the effects of whatever happened before yeah, yeah. someone's like someone i'll find you evil me i'm not getting involved again mm -mm. there's also a lot of fraud <laughs> in the internet yeah yeah but, but, but at the end of the day we should go out there we you should know. just yeah. try so no. that's why she says she's mm. missed universe that you trust her <laughs> that she okay, cannot be okay, behind okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> let's bring that conversation to a close now thank you so much jail thank you so much uh, abna for for coming and of course they are uh, campus directors for Hearts prize at different campuses jail is from cooperative university of kenya of course abna is from moranga university lady and gentlemen asante sana thank you so much for having us thank i wish you guys the best yeah? <laughs> thank, thank you, you. <laughs> and that brings us to the end of this uh, morning conversation right here on why in the morning and of course uh, i would like to, ra to wrap it up thank you so much for being part of this morning show my name is Ram Maguko. On behalf of everybody that ensured this show was a success, we want to say thank you so much. May God bless you. May God bless the work of your hands. Have a good morning.